I'm gonna get where it started. I wanted to start it either between three or four, and I didn't know what the setup was for uh, PlayStation in terms of Twitch, so I decided to do a little bit in the middle to make sure I had enough time to set everything up if I needed to. Anyway, on to the main points. One, why am I why am I streaming another game that I don't usually do on Twitch? Well, that's very simple. Um, I'm getting a bit burnt out of uh, streaming since, and I want to do something good, different, completely different. <sighs> so yeah, I decided to play this game, which is called Dragon Age Inquisition. I played this game before. I wanted to stream this game because I wanted to make sure I wanted to have a different game besides Sims and just have some fun. Like do something fun, but that isn't like totally gonna make me burn out. And I will still be doing Sims. I will still. I will be posting my progress of the city on my Instagram, I will be making the characters off stream as well. So basically, I'm just gonna send it up and then, eventually, when I finish everything, I will stream it and I will play it and we will see what kind of mayhem we can do, or at least I'm gonna do, and you're just gonna watch me, uh, do. And last month I started streaming. I used Sims as a way to uh, kind of get my feet wet as a good game to start with. I didn't want to start off with a narrative based game because I don't know how the setup works. I don't know a lot of things. Sims was a good game to try everything out and see what works. Then I explored more games beyond Sims, so I tried Arkham Asylum, the Arkham series for my YouTube channel, my YouTube streams. Those seem to be working. I feel passionate, happy, alive versus Sims where I've not been feeling myself. So I made the executive decision to make the switch to this game. It's still creating a character, so we're still doing the character creation stuff, but we're doing a little bit more narrative. So it's kind of a happy medium, a compromise. We, you get to see me pl create a character, and you also get to see me do a narrative-based game. It should be fun. And I will make a disclaimer. This game is rated M for Mature, so... Um, there may be some points where you see people naked, but they don't show anything, like, too obvious. If they're, like, guys, all you can see is, like, the top part. Like, you know they're naked, but they don't show it, if that makes sense. There may be talking about, they may have some profanity, maybe talking about mature, um, stuff. So, you have been warned. Um, what's the saying? Oh, viewers discretion advised. <laughs> That's what they do on Hulu all the time with mature content. All the time. <sighs> on another note, uh, a couple of things. Next month, towards the end of August, I will be going back to college. I know I just graduated with um, a bachelor's degree, um, and now I'm going into the credential program. Um, <laughs> say this, yes, I've been doing this. Um, I'm going into the credential program. I'm going to have very busy schedules in the, during the week, so I will be mainly shifting my schedule to either nights or the weekends, and one stream for Twitch, one stream for YouTube, and that's it. And I might change in, I 
I might limit to either one of them or both of them per week, depending on how I feel and depending on whether I'm cramped. I may just focus on one of them for the sake of uh, myself and maybe limit the time to maybe a half an hour to an hour and a half. We'll see. Okay? So, yeah. The reason I, the reason why it might be switching to there and the week is so busy, I've signed up I was signed up for seven classes, two of which are student teaching, and five of which are actual classes. I might, it's most likely going to be me being busy between um, August, the start of school, all the way to October. And then the rest of the time, it might be just student teaching. I'm not sure what's going on, but we'll, I will see. And as far as that goes, since I'm gonna have a busy schedule, working does not seem- I'm not sure if working is the best idea right now. I was willing to try, but it's getting a little close and I'm getting the feeling maybe I should just focus on schooling right now. So this is mainly just a hobby. I'm some an extracurricular activity I tend to continue. So that way I have something to do on my spare time and I feel like I have something worthwhile to engage in. Let me know if uh, the volume's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. I feel like it might have been more of the music. The music tends to be loud, especially in this big, in this main menu screen. So what I was trying to say. That's fine. Also, before I forget, I like this setup. Because I can see chat, right? You can see exactly what I'm seeing. I see myself. So you're seeing this, so... See, so Tooth is saying hi, then yes, I'm, I can see that. I can also see the chat underneath. And my game. It's like the perfect setup. I don't have to like look at my phone to see if anybody's chatting. It is way better set up than my laptop. Don't get me wrong. I might be still using my laptop to stream at times. It's just not going to be as often. I might be mostly doing PlayStation streams, which is totally fine for me. I love the setup already. I love the camera I have that has a built-in mic. <sighs> which I'm guessing you guys can hear me because of the music anyway, so. It's okay, the first stream I had, the music was loud anyway, so I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> so, note to self, make the music extremely low. Got it. As far as what I'm gonna do, we're gonna play this game. Or I'm gonna play this game, and you guys are just gonna watch me. I've been thinking about this for some time, I've played this game many times. Um, there's certain parts, like, add-ons. One of them is, like, at the very, very end that I haven't gone to yet. So, I played the original game all the way to its end, but there's something that adds to the end. It's sort of like a... you... um... what's it called? A eulogy? No, that... no, 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 no. Epilogue! There we go. Epilogue. <laughs> it's like an epilogue in a uh, book, especially if it's, like, I don't know, Deathly Hollows, there was an epilogue, so it's kind of like that. 
I haven't played that yet. So we're gonna see how it goes. So I will be giving tips and I know how this works. And I've been thinking about what I wanted to do for a while. Female. I will be reading these though. Oh, why does the text get so slow? Okay. <clears throat> Humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Datus. They are the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. Yeah, sounds about right. Human characters. Ooh. Human characters receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. Elves are a historically oppressed people, distinguishable by their little frames. Wait. What? Frames and pointed ears? I have no idea how to pronounce that. It looks like life, because the E is, looks silent to me. Anyway. Though most, though most survive in the powerful fringes of human cities, others live as nomads, known as Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% range defense. That's interesting. Dwarf. Dwarves are short, stocky, and most spent and most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the surface are often merchants or smugglers because dwarves have no connection to the fade. They cannot be mages but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense. So, in short, they're very resistant to magic in its own way. Canari. Okay. No. These, these are, ex these, uh, people are really tall. Like, probably six foot tall, six foot or higher. I would imagine. Because they're huge compared to, like, an elf or a dwarf. Well, the dwarf's probably obvious, but I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> right. The Canari, the Canari are a race of horned giants. Told you. Who follow a strict religious text known as the Kuhn. Those who have, those who have abandoned its principles are known as the Talvazot. Talvazot. Yeah. <sighs> okay. The tall of his arch. That sounds bleh, bleh, bleh. English. What is it, really? Ugh. Such a jumbled word that sounds like I'm eat eating with my mouth full. Bleh. Ugh. The tall, tall visage. The sauce. Close enough. And often. And often worked as mercenaries. Canari characters get a bonus of 10% physical damage distance, resistance. Cause they're basically a tank. Put them as like warriors? Oh yeah, you're guaranteed. You're guaranteed a good fight, pretty much. I already had this in mind because I played it so many times. Now here is what I'm planning. Since I've played this before, I played it looking like characters based off of a series or stories I have in my head. This time, I'm gonna make it look like a character that I would- like, what would I want to look like in another world? Who would I want to be? In other words, if I was reincarnated as someone else, what would I look like? That's basically where my mentality is going. Alright, now we got a choice between rogue, but we have dual wield, or archer, a warrior which has two handed, or weapon shield, 
And then we got Mage. If anybody knows me well, it's going to be magic based. But I want to I want to read these again because it's been a while. Dual wield. Rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility. Rather than heavy rather than heavy armor, using using skill and adventurous position position on the battlefield to deal incredible damage. They may get may get up close and personal with daggers or strike afar from distance with arrows. Yeah. So whenever they're like doubled like this, it's probably gonna be the same. Basically this just means they can either get close or be ranged. Um, two handed means they can handle some serious fights or they can Um, either way, they're gonna fight, but one's gonna do a lot more damage than the other. So it's more like, do you want to go all out on offense, but have slower timing? Or do you want to have a little bit faster reaction, but have, um, shield, but being able to defend yourself and have a sword? But if you do do things like this, you can switch between them. It's just which one you want to start with, that's the question. That's basically what this is. Alright, let's uh... Warriors are frontline combatants. Able to withstand incredible punishment in heavy armor. So yeah, they can take out a whole- they can deal a whole lot of punishment. They are proficient in the use of two-handed weapons, like mul- like moles and like moles and great swords. Moles? Hmm. One moment. I played this game a bunch of times, but I haven't really like thought of oh yeah, what is a mole? Or what is that weapon? There we go. Basically, it's a hammer. Just a fancy bird for hammer. Noted. Huh, interesting. But me combine a smaller weapon with a shield for added defense. Okay. And then mages. Mages channel magical power into spells capable of a wide range of effects, from debilitating opponents, protecting allies, or unleashing unleashing devastating elemental energy. Those who would wield magic widely fear are widely feared for their abilities and the rebellion against against Chan. Chantry control has left the land in chaos. Okay, background. Chantry is basically the church. So if you want to be a little bit more unrealistic, the Chantry is basically what the church was in medieval times. People were very into the faith. And basically it was more of a dividing of pagan beliefs and religious. So like Christianity or Catholic. Catholicism. I think that's the technical word for Catholic. But I think for simple terms, I'll just say Catholic. So it's not confusing. I'm gonna get some water. So basically, in short, the mages were treated really badly. They wanted to stand up to be treated like people. But what do he what do people do with when they see powers beyond understanding and that could possibly hurt people? They panic and want to either be controlled or destroy it. Because that's a natural human reaction. 
fear. Fear is a very powerful motivator, and it's very sad. Like, really sad. I mean, Salem Witch Trials, anyone? If you're thinking that, pretty close. In this game, it's gonna be really important to know the different, to know that the mages and um, the church do not see eye to eye. There will be a lot of disagreement, so if you're not the conflict type of person, I would say if it gets too much, take a deep breath, go outside, breathe some air, touch some grass. I know it's a foreign concept, but you can touch grass. If you're worried about the virus, just wear a mask, touch some grass, go back inside, remove the mask. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to walk outside and breathe the fresh air. It's not gonna kill you. I'm still standing by it. Okay? Now, enough of me, chat. What am I gonna pick? Obviously mage. I mean, come on. I'm... I'm... Now... Anybody that should know me should know that I'm not the type that goes for hard custom. For players looking for a tweak in your difficulty settings, play with trials or increase I will increase your challenge, but you will also earn unique equipment. Maybe another time. For my first stream, I'm gonna keep it simple. And in short, I'm actually more of a casual player. I like to enjoy the story more than um, feeling like I need to challenge myself in hard. The hardest difficulty is nightmare. So. <laughs> ah, okay, this is funny. For masochists and the truly bad, it doesn't get more challenging than this. <laughs> what does hard look like? For seasoned players looking for a significant challenge in combat, enemies are punishing and battles require a clever mind for tactics. It's not really- okay. I don't believe myself to be a strategist. I just like to enjoy games. I just like to enjoy playthrough, enjoy the story, that's me. I don't really go through any other ones. Maybe I will for um, the stream so you guys can enjoy me dealing with the struggles so many times because why not? But for this, I'd rather just do casual. It says, for players new to role playing games or those interested in purely narrative focus, combat will provide minimal challenge. So it's either that or this. For players interested in a balanced but challenging gameplay experience, this setting is recommended for most players. So I think I'll just do casual for right now. I might change later, but maybe no, I'm just gonna stick with casual. I'll go from there. Oh joy. Okay, one of the other things you should know is that this is a game where they love to pull, like, reading, so if you see, like, the codex on the floor or whatever, yeah, there's, there's just, there's just a lot. Uh, enslaved long ago by humans, most elves still live as second-class citizens, within human cities. Elves who reject this life are known as da the Dalish, known as Dalish, or the Dalish. Nomadic wanderers who strive to keep the ancient elven religion and traditions alive. You grew up in the wilderness, a member of the La Lavalin. I forget how the game pronounces them, but I'm gonna do my best. Lavalon? Lavalon? The Babylon Dalish clan. And a, and a, print, a print, apprentice to its leader and guide, the keeper. The clan wandered clan wandered the north the northern free marches. And you had little need to interact with humans. 
until the keeper sent you to the Chantry Conclave as a spy. Ooh. What happened there? She said. What happened there? She said. What impact not only the Dalish, but indeed all else. She could not have known how right she was. Okay. Bit of context. There is a meeting. So, the, um, both, um, the mages and, God, what is the, um, name of the people? Jeez. Um, I'm gonna call them the knights because I cannot remember for the life of me. It literally escapes me. Once the name is mentioned, I will basically be disappointed in myself. Yes, Toothless, I know. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so basically, the knights and the majors are at a conflict, mainly due to the Chantry. Lots of things happened, it's from the previous games, but basically, these two are at war. The Chantry was trying to, the head pope, or, yeah, Basically, she was trying, yes, it was a she, trying to settle this war once and for all. However, uh, outside forces or something happened in the Chantry, like something happened in this meeting place. All anybody knows is that it blew up. And that did not help matters because anyone who was anyone was there. There were very few people who were important that were not there. So basically, this meeting was important because it was going to settle the end of the war and try to have some kind of, like, a bridge. So instead of, like, making it worse, she wanted to make it better. Bring peace and a, a conflict that was getting out of control. But not everything goes so well. And that's where our character comes in. Because I'm not sure if it'll be noticed, but our character basically is the only person that was there. So deal with this information what you will, but let's go. I don't have anything from other Dragon Age games. Default world state, yes. All right, then. Oh yeah, and there's that. That's cool. That's fine. Okay. Pro tip. If you're playing this game, do not, under any circumstances, try to put makeup on. Or unless you really need to, but make it natural, neutral, whatever. The lighting in this creation screen is terrible. Like, so terrible, not even realistic. It took me forever to find a good way to figure this out. And I'm not even joking. I wish I was, but I'm not. Let's see how the value of the talking works. Oh. How much is this going to cost me exactly? Okay, sounds good. Doesn't sound too loud, so I was right to turn the um, dialogue down. Hopefully. I'm not going to talk over people, so hopefully the volume's not too loud. But yeah. So, I'm going to talk as I go. When you're creating somebody... Yeah, it is loud. 
or it's at the right volume. short doing a creation screen in this lighting is so terrible it's not even realistic to the game itself so you just kind of have to be at peace with whatever you choose anyway let's see about face shape oh no Maybe. Some of these kind of just look the same. So, I think this. Uh, no, no. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, hell no! I don't want to be reincarnated with pale skin! Thank you very much. I don't want my enemies to call me ghost! Elf or something. That that's just ridiculous. I mean, I look like I have green skin. Though to be fair, I think in a different lighting, this may not look as green. It could be just the setting. I mean, I could. I could. This is good. What the hell? Um, I have no idea. It is so hard to tell. I think I'll just leave it. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it as is. color is really hard to tell as well. Sometimes you need to get close to the screen to find out. Hi! Um. Ooh, those are nice green eyes. Uh, those are pretty too. Ooh, that's a nice shade. That looks really cool. Ooh, that's pretty. Looks really nice. That's really pretty. That's even prettier. I think I'll go with this one. <laughs> and you can. This game, you can be extremely detailed. Like, they're like extreme. They're kind. They're pretty detailed. Their hairs, the hairstyles are not really that great. It's probably mostly accurate for the time, but there's not really many long hair. Like, they keep it like mid length or ponytails. Okay. First of all, I don't know if I can pull off the wand. Actually, in this game, Red looks really good in this game. Plus, I love red. Red is my favorite color. So. Hmm. Uh, can I pull it off? Probably. Don't want to? Not really. <laughs> um, moving on. This is a really pretty haircut. I'm not gonna lie. 
probably pull off as well, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually not a bad hairstyle, but it's plain. This looks like something I could rock. Um, this is actually not bad either. This looks too boyish. No. Could I rock this? Better yet, when it gets to the uh, rear again, would I be okay looking at this for the rest of the game? Well, there is a thing called the Black Emporium that is added into this game. And I mean, like, you get the add on and it's already put into the game. That has a, in it, has a black, has a mirror that allows you to customize it in case of this. But for those of you that just have the game, you kind of got to take your time in this scene. Take your time, and think very carefully on the choices. Do not put anything too bright. Light blue, forget it. Don't put light blue anything. Because anything that is too bright or neon on the next scene will be picked up instantly, and then you'll kind of regret it. Unless bright is what you're going for. Honestly, let's try it. I could rock a hairstyle like this, I wouldn't mind. Alright. Here, and here's like the selection of voices. Listen. How much is How much this going, is going to cost me exactly? exactly? How much is this going to cost me exactly? This one works better with the Canari. Or like, I tried it and it just seemed to fit better, but this with an elf just seems like... Um... Different. You leave me no choice. Besides, I like this voice better. Um, let's see... Ear size, I'm your position, your lobe size. Honestly, I'm okay with the ears. Cheekbones, yes. Brow size, yeah. This is what I mean by detailed. You can just keep it general, or you can just be really specific. But I get really tired of this, so I'm okay with the head and ears. Eyes? I'd rather go with a specific color in general, so you have an idea of what you want your character to look like, and kind of use it as a base.
looks nice. Okay. This is what I need. <sighs> do I what color eyes do I want? This red look like. Alright, you're probably wondering, why did I pick Violet? I always wanted a rare hair color, a, no, a hair color type of story, where I colored, that's the thing. Um, I'm gonna be right back. Do this. Energy.
Did you miss me? <laughs> I like to think so. If anybody gets that. Bonus points. If not, ask me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Light Fairy in the third Dragon, uh, How to Train Your Dragon movie was never given a name, so I named her Snow because at the time I got her, it was winter, and she was as uh, bright as snow. As white as snow. There you go. That's the words I'm looking for. Anyway, this gave me a good chance to think, anyway. While I was away. I want to see what it looks like. I'm going to do this. Make the outer. Yeah, this is not gonna work. What if I just made it all? Hmm. You know, that's not a bad color combination. But I'm not going with it. Nope, nope, not going with it. I think. I'll live with this. It matches the hair anyway. Plus, there's not that many eye colors that look red. I mean, if the eyes do look red, it's usually not, it's not the iris, it's the corn, it's the white part, which is not usually a good sign. <coughs> By the way, if blood goes into your eyes, get that checked out. Um, could be something important. Could be something really bad. So, something to keep in mind, people. But yeah. I think we're gonna live with this. Uh. No shape. Actually, that's not a bad shape. I will leave with that. Broken nose. Maybe. 
Maybe we put some neutral lips on thickness. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. What the H? Adam's apple? Okay. Scars and tattoos. Okay, this one I could spend a long time with too. Um, do I want a scar? No, scar. I look fine without a scar, to be honest. Um, it's probably not that obvious. Let's see. I love these tattoo designs for elves. It has such like a culture to them. Ooh, that actually looks really pretty. Hmm, I wonder if I put it in a different color, maybe black. This looks really, this will look really nice. I like making it black as well because black is like, it goes with anything. I know it looked like what some people, I'm guessing what some uh, Native American tribes may do. I'm not sure they had like color uh, paint at the time. They may have used red in the past, but I like to think they may have just used black or whatever paint they had in time to kind of like paint their faces, whatever, um, represented at the time, because native tribes like to do that. They like to paint the face as like a symbol of something. Just a bit of education for you folks. Ooh. This is like red. This looks a bit more like a crown, which I like. A lot of these designs look really cool, but it's kind of hard to find a good color that works. Because you're also staring at the face for a long period of time, so. 
there's that too. I think I'm going to go with the default. Because I don't generally mind what's on the bottom right there. Plus, it's not really too busy, and I can make it faded. But I like to see the tattoo, because I like the elven, elvish culture. So I like to see this as sort of a representation. I think I'll just leave it like this. Like I said, eyeshadow, she doesn't need it. Yeah. Like I said, try to avoid makeup as much as possible. The only reason I put the lips on there because the lips look really chap. But like I said, something like neutral, something that at least makes them not look totally bad. Okay. I could put blush, but why? So I think this is about as good as I'm going to get. And I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Huh! That's my, uh... That's my little cousin's name. No, the name I want to be called is Rose. Yeah, just Rose. Alright, let's get going. Anybody's out by the spiders. Things are gonna get tense, people, so there, brace yourself.
by the way. Worst outfit ever. It's so ugly. <gasps> Plus the lighting is really, really dark in this scene. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead, except for you. Okay. We're doing me. How would I react? Uh, that's a good question. Would I remain silent? Um, I wouldn't accuse right away. I would probably remain silent. Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need her, Cassandra. All right, let's see. We got all those people, meaning crying. Uh, that wouldn't be my choice. Um, and uh, this is a really hard decision because if it was, it's, it's me, not a certain character that I created for this world. Wouldn't be confused right away. I wouldn't say let me go. So it's either I would be tough and saying what happens now or all these people. I think realistically I'd probably be wondering what's gonna happen to me now. But I think I'm gonna pick this one. I can't believe it. All those people. Oh, Dead. Okay. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then a woman? A woman? She reached out to me, but then. Go to the forward camp, Lillian. I will take her to the river. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion of the conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. the breach expands your mark spreads and it is killing you it Great. may be the key to stopping this but there isn't much time yeah thanks Cassandra like I needed to know the mar the thing that was basically hurting me is now basically killing me I probably couldn't tell from the many times that it was trying to kill me before with intense pain alright Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. 
You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. Hmm, I think I'd rather answer this one. Uh, if I can't help, I will. Will helping save me? Do I have a choice? I don't think this one. I understand. Oh, okay. Then, I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. I'm a good person. I try to be. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves. As she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. <sighs> it is not far. Oh, for Where are you taking me? <clears throat> Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Didn't mean to push you. It's because I didn't mean to push you. Nope. But uh, Open yeah. Gate. We are heading into the valley. Excuse me. I'm trying to see these dead people. A moment of silence for the dead people lying. And we're good. By the way, I do this anytime I see like good people or like lying down on the ground. Because I like to be an honor the dead. There we go. There we go. That's that's what I'm looking for. Hello, gentlemen. Basically, kill many is going to make everybody go free. Cray cray. You know, that kind of makes sense. By the way, circling back to that trial bit. Come on, really? I don't even know if I even remembered what he did. No one knows who she was. 
everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the Temple of Sacred Ash. I suppose you'll see soon enough. Translation. Temple of Sacred Ashes? That's where we're going. What am I going to think? Oh, great. It's so, uh, it's so dark. Dismay. Too bright, but I think we're okay. It's just right around here. It there's some areas where lighting could have been better, like here or something. I am really hmm. Realistically, I think it's just something like this. Do you really think I need a staff to be dangerous? Is that supposed to reassure me? I haven't used my magic on you yet. <sighs> You're right. You don't need a staff, but you should have one. I cannot protect. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Yes. Basically, I can see that reaction happening. Because if I just woke up with very little memory of what happened, I would be a slight bit more uh, tense. Really, like argumented it because it's a very tense situation. I nearly just kind of in my mind I'm trying to like survive so I would be a little bit argumentative. Besides, I would be trying to say, hey look, do you really think I need magic to be dangerous here? Do you really think this staff is going to literally change anything? <laughs> Make a note of what you will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp for fighting. We are on our own for now. Okay. By the way, pro tip. Around here, just explore kind of test the limits of the boundaries because it's not like completely open world it's more like an open area if that makes any sense 
the mini map is a good indicator of where things are. There, watch out! If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. It's always best to kind of like explore around places because you get things like this. In this game, just look for any plant at all that you can grab. You're gonna need it. So just. This also has like a weird inventory system because as long as you have something of plant value, the amount of times you're stacking is limitless. So if you're thinking Minecraft, think the uh, inventory system, but you have a limited amount of time to stack or something. So you have like 64 blocks in your inventory. Up on the hill. It attacks from a distance. Yeah. Like I said, if you have like excuse me, I'm having a conversation here. Do you mind? like the inventory system in Minecraft, except you have a more, um, and you have once, instead of having several stacks, one stack could be up to hundreds, thousands, as many as you want. There's not like a limit to it that I've encountered. So, like I said, collect plants resources because the amount of things you can fill, like the little boxes, like there's a set number here, let me show you. See the uh, number down there? These three things, Actually, all of these things fill the inventory into some capacity and degree. Um, there is a chance to upgrade them, but um, you put crafting materials under here, and it doesn't matter how many of those you get, but it is like you get a new weapon, it does count as one. Whereas you get a lot of elf root, and that counts as one, but you get a lot of elf root that still counts as the same one. It's just stacked. I know it makes no sense, but I think the Minecraft analogy makes a little bit more sense for those that play Minecraft. If not, I am sorry. I'm trying my best here. Uh, that's terrible. Actually, I have a better idea. There is a function for this sort of thing. Gameplay. Uh, nope, not here. Hide helmet, yes. See? What the hide helmet does is if you don't like the helmet, it doesn't, or if you just want to see your hair or something, just find the hide helmet function. I told you I'd be giving good tips. This is a kind of game where if you just explore around a lot, you gather a lot of like herbs and resources, you would be good. Because it's extremely important to do so. 
Not only is it good for experience, it's good for crafting, especially if you're finding metals. The only reason I keep referencing Minecraft is because I watch a lot of Minecraft videos. And I don't have a problem with that at all. Yeah, like I said, no. They're falling from the breach. Well, where else will they fall from? The sky? Oh wait, that's the same thing. Never mind. their version of the in-between or the afterlife, technically. Basically a world for ghosts. It is a very weird place. It makes no absolute sense. And what do I know about what the heck the other side of death looks like? I do not want to know. I'd like to live as much as possible. Thank you very much. reason is if you're nearby a wall or something, you may be able to find metals. And they're extremely important because each, kind of like the areas, it's not like you have a specific amount of everything. Certain areas will have certain metals, so some will have iron, others will have sunstone? Bloodstone? That's an actual thing in this game. It's just stone that looks a lot like blood and bloodstone. I can see why. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. By the way, there is romances in this game, so. Yes, I'm going to hook up with somebody in this game. I'm a hopeless romantic, what can I say? Alright. Time to go kick some ass. Alright. Hello! Did someone call in the cavalry? magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems 
Alistair was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be as deep in demons forever. Barrack Tetris. Rogue, storyteller, occasionally. I love Beric. Ooh, I get to choose. Sometimes in dialogue you only have one chance, so I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make a count. What would I say? I think I would comment the crossbow. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Beric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. Oh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. I like Solus. Um, some people don't for some reason. I don't understand why. There are flaws to him, but there are flaws in everyone. I mean, for me, I'm... I tend to have various bad days where I feel lonely, but I tend to forget that I have friends, I have people who support me. It's one of my biggest flaws that I forget these things. Until I try to remember that. It's not always easy at times, but it happens. So, I like to have an open mind that everyone has their flaws, but I try to see the good in people. But it's not an easy thing. You'll see some people that just reek umbrage. I know. It's not easy. But you might want to hold your breath. Take a deep breath. And just go through with it. And I'm mostly seeing that for myself because there is one person that is coming up that just gets under my skin. Okay. Uh, I think the first thing I'd say is thank you. Then I owe you my thanks. Thank me if we manage to close the breach without killing you in the process. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I've seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. I love Beric. When I have more people, I will always pick him. This way, uh, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. If you're playing this on a PlayStation uh, game like me, uh, the one thing you'll know ahead of time that you'll know later on when you could know beforehand. Ask me, Google, Google. Sorry, I don't understand. Google's always listening, apparently. Don't mind her. <laughs> and I say her because I made the voice sound like a woman. But anyway, uh, left joystick, press it. Do this. That's where you're gonna find a lot of stuff. So that's another pro tip ahead of time. I don't know why they just don't do it beforehand when there's so much to collect. Also, it's gonna tell me to do this. Not. <laughs> Maybe not yet. Um, right. But like I said, I. Oh! Over there. Duh. Let's see. Okay. Um, right, what was I gonna say? Oh, right. I was gonna say. Varric is a really good character to have because he's witty, he's cool, 
and I love having him around so much. The other thing is you can also pick more, um, up to like three other people besides yourself. So, like this whole party here, that's kind of it. But you can kind of like cuss, work around with different people. I tend to have three, there, since there are three different types of, uh, uh, parties in this thing, there's like rogue, warrior, and mage. I always have a mage on hand, a rogue, and a warrior. Always. The extra is who I feel like I want to pair it up with. Who I want to mix it up with. Do I want two rogues? Do I want two wizards? Do I want two warriors? But I always have the main three because it's always important to have a warrior on hand in case things get bad. A wizard on hand if you need that flexibility to adapt to un to adapt to unpredictable fights, and you need a rogue to get up close and personal at times, or maybe you just need them to sneak around a bit. That's uh, one of the things. All right. That's my pro tip as well. I'm just getting all kinds of tips today. me, I'm just taking your stuff, because why not, and of course this makes Demon sense. Glad you brought me down, Seeker. Oh yeah, you know what I just did? I just uh, switched characters. That's one of the functions I can do. Because I can just switch between mages, or I can switch to a warrior or something. That's why I always tend to like work with compatibility. Oh. They have this function, but I hardly ever use it. Because I don't know... I know it explains it, but... It's not really my style. This is what I'm used to. The other function is like it froze, freezes time and allows you to go through multiple of different fights, but it's not really me because I don't know how to make this work for me. Plus, I'm like in well, I'm not like old school. I I grew up around games like Kingdom Hearts, so of course I'm going to be playing with games that have a bit more of close to that kind of style. So this a tactical thing is useful, but it's not for me. He's different. Just like this guy needs to be six feet apart. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, I did not ask you to scratch me. That is rude. Go back to hell. Some ghosts. The nerve of something. Some people might read. There's also some things you can find to sell stuff, which, in this game, yeah, important. Leather is also, is also important to make clothes or armor or something. Excuse me, Solus. Thank you. <sighs> Sometimes these guys like to interfere and get up on my business. I don't like when they get up all on my business. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <clears throat> okay, I think I can stop. <laughs> Are you 
Your execution, then yeah. But I guess it's kind of like being accused of a crime you didn't commit, and then somebody using the death penalty on you because of that. That's just terrible. And I'm not exactly fair, but this is life. And also, this is back in the days where. Women weren't given the exact respect that back in those days either. But, I don't put the history lesson. Ooh. Oh. My, my brain is making me sh making me crazy. Apparently, tongue tied. Where is my. See? see? Tongue tied and not knowing what to do. What the hell am I saying? I have no idea. Ooh, more bad guys. Hey guys, come on. Can I have a crash this party? Oh. oh no, that's just rude. Yeah. They never told you it's rude to hit a lady. I might replay it once if I finish this game. I might replay it to where I'm a different uh, person. You are Dalish, but clearly away from the rest of your clan. Did they send you here? What do you know of the Dalish? I have wandered many roads in my time and crossed paths with your people on more than one occasion. We are both of the same people, so the Dalish I met felt different. Can't you elves just play nice for once? No. Probably should have picked a different one, but it was impulsive. I had to be quick. Because if you don't get a chance, it just fades away sometimes, so I'm like, uh, I need to make a decision. But I guess I could have made my choice once I press the button, at least. Time to go into the fire! By the way, do not try this at home. Do not walk into fire, otherwise you will be burned. I hope 
animated through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. take a moment to like enjoy how realistic the spire looks because look at this someone must have pulled their hair out trying to grab this or maybe it was just a casual day in the office what do i know all i know is i like to appreciate art and apparently i'm too close to it otherwise i will mentally think oh yeah i'm on fire i'm probably going to die I think at some point you do like walk into fire and get damaged, so that's where my mentality is like, ah, I'm on fire, I'm probably going to die. I'm like, relax, it's the trip, it's the beginning. We're still going through the steps, we're fine. Maybe we're not fine, maybe we're still. Shut up! <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks really pretty. They did a really good job with this part. If I had zoom, I would zoom right close to the eye. Eesh. Okay, okay, jeez. That looks way too close for comfort. Another rim! We must seal it! Quickly! I can come in! Help us! I don't want this to stick death on my... I don't want into it. <laughs> and the moment's gone. Sorry. Alright. Use the mark. Kaboom. Okay. Alright, we got one point. Okay, let's see. There's Spirit, st Ow. Storm, Inferno, and Winter. So, here's the thing. Spirit is more, I like to call the healing or more effective. They're more health based. Because some can protect you. Their song can bring you back from the dead. So that's what this is. This is just straight up lightning. Like, straight up lightning. This is fire, and this is ice. They just have fancy names for that. Inferno just sounds cooler. Storm is a better way of saying lightning. And, uh, it's my own series, I'm. In my own stories, I've actually used Storm, so I would. I approve of this, and winter is just fun too. I I like winter. I like the name winter. Anyway, uh, spirit, masters of the school of magic, upon we call upon spirits for protection, as well as essence of the fade itself. Fade of the veil. <coughs> Their spells disrupt hostile magic, create defensive barriers, and even heal injuries. Paul did. Now, in any video game, it's always best to use healing effects first. Why healing effects? Yes, I know how this works. I told you I know how this works. I played this game before! Many times! Ugh. It's always best to use healing effects first, and then kind of like back forth or something, because it's always best to have something on hand. Let's see. You can create a stammering protective barrier that, that acts as a temporary additional health. So basically it's like a temporary health bar. The barrier decays, decays naturally over time more quickly. A barrier provides an additional health bar that must be destroyed before the target will take any damage. Barrier is vulnerable to dispel effects. Yes, 
you know how this works. Face. Okay. So, tip, go for spirit class first, because the barrier is a really effective tool, especially in the beginning. If somebody has this, they use it at the very beginning of the fight, so you guys can have... So the other warriors can just have a way to attack. Anyway. Um... Winter is more useful in slowing things down and other things. I would go over these more, but essentially go for spirit first. Lightning and Inferno are more attack based. Winter has a little bit of uh, defensive mechanics along with the pencil, so. <clears throat> Rips is gone. Rips is gone. Open the gate. Right away. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that name on your hand is, it's useful. Yeah. Oh boy. What just happened there? Argument. Big one. Basically, he said, Haven't you three? Haven't you and the most holy have caused enough trouble already? She's like, Boy, you ain't in charge here. <laughs> you ain't in charge of nothing. <laughs> that will make me do anything for you. <sighs> yeah, so. Um. Yeah, this might get a little tense here, people. Ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! Are you dead serious, dude? Okay, Roderick. I don't know if you haven't noticed, but there's a freaking hole in the sky that literally is killing me, and you, you want to do politics right now? You think politics is really the solution to the answer? It's like trying to deal with an apocalyptic situation and picking another president. Wait. Maybe not go there. My point still stands. People are dying. Your, your men are basically dying. And you think, oh yeah, let's pick the next, uh, whole, <clears throat> let's pick the next, uh, person to lead the chantry, because that's the realistic thing to do right now. Come on. Even I know that's the most stupidest thing I've heard yet. I don't have a, I don't have a, there's not an option where I can just go off on it and go off like this, so I'm getting it out of my system. Out the breach, so no one's in charge here. I'm standing right here. Yeah, that's about close. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You shouldn't even be here. Call a retreat, Seekers. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. Nope! 
No thanks. How do you think we should proceed? Oh, I'm asking this question first. Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Him, mm -hmm. we cannot agree on our own. Duh. <gasps> okay. Obviously, I've chosen this particular option many times. I am not going with, uh, however, I would go with the soldiers to differentiate. But if, realistically, I would just go to the mountains to check on the people that maybe need help. Why? I'm a caring person, I don't like seeing people dead. It's why you see me try to honor as many people as I can. And yes, I do. <clears throat> I do rob from the dead, but you know, it's a. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, man. Alright. I will confess for my sins, but come on. I gotta find something. I gotta survive. <laughs> anyway, obviously, I'm going to pick the mountain. Because basically it says fast but indirect soldiers will act to act as a distraction elsewhere. The problem will be addressed sooner, but there may be casualties. Basically, there may be hope of people alive. Use the most alive. Work together. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, seeker. Oh, shut your mouth! <laughs> That's all you do. Bark the bark, but I don't hear bite it. <sighs> By the way, this guy will get under your skin just a little bit more than yeah, like I said, and I, I don't agree with this guy at all. Exit to main menu because it's getting close to the two hour mark, and I think this is a good place to stop. I'll uh, likely go back on probably tomorrow, let's be honest. Either that, or I might do Arkham Asylum tomorrow, just depending on which uh, I feel like doing. But this will be the new, um, this will be the game I choose, this will be the new, uh, setup, so I am in a nice comfortable spot, and I'm gonna do my little end thing that I usually do, which is either read a poem or... <clears throat> This one's called Where I Feel That. This one's all the way back in 2020, so just a disclaimer. Your home is not the place that somewhere else is. 
a place I can feel happy, a place I can feel free. Free to fly to the highest point and not be scared. If the nest isn't me, then I'll find another one. I'll find a place to spread my wings, where my talents are valued. And I'm welcomed with open arms. I'm seen as family, I'm seen as a treasure people want. I want a place that acknowledges me, that sees me when I'm happy, sees me when I'm not. Sees me when I'm angry, knows when I'm lonely. Home is not that place. I'm, so <clears throat> I'm seen as against barely, I'm seen as a ghost barely there. One thinks she's invisible. I know she's not, or I'm more. I'm more. I think I should say I'm more visible than her. <clears throat> I need a place to speak, to shout, to feel alive. I know I'm worthy of things. I know somewhere I'm valued. Maybe I will find it. Maybe my words will reach to the heavens. I'll keep going until someone says I value you. Words have power, words have meaning, but if those words don't have action, they are meaningless. So I'll find that place where I walk into warmth. Warmth that brings joy. Warmth that brings happiness. Warmth that sparks desire. Warmth that sparks passion. I know someone values me. If home is not that place, then I will find it elsewhere, where I can be happy and free. Free for the first time ever. I'll probably read two more. Finished with finals. I can finally rest. Rest easy, knowing I'm done. No more waking up to do more work. Slack off work, slack off more. Now it's rest, have fun, clean house. Now it's thinking about life. Time to worry, stress, be lonely again and again. No, it doesn't have to be this way. If life is a story, then let me grab a pencil and write it my way. I'm done with finals but not with life. I can rest, but not for too long. 2020 may be taking my happiness, but not my faith, nor my passion. They are embodiments of me. Life may be sad, but it's how we make it to be. And I choose to make it better as much as I can. It's not easy, but finals wasn't either. Ah, here's a good one. <clears throat> Last one. 2020 will not. 2020 will not make me depressed. 2020 will not allow me to think it's hopeless when it's not. 2020 will, <clears throat> will not win in the despair game. 2020 got up and tried to take everything. 2020 will not get me. 2020 will lose to another year. Sun shines at the eye. Sun shines at the eye of the storm. Sun will shine again. Just you wait, 2020. Sun will shine again. Hope is not lost. Not by a long shot. 2020 will not be here for too much longer. It's 2021. It's not here at all. And soon, if not now, it will be gone. creation takes a while. <clears throat> right. Um, let's 
So I might play this tomorrow, or maybe Wednesday, but <clears throat> as far as summer goes, I'll try to stream as much as I can and when I feel like it. I won't be streaming on Saturday, I will be busy that day, most definitely. That's about it. So, thank you for coming, and goodbye.